Yes. You spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You gain two minds and earn one wealth. One day, a patient whose voice has been cursed and replaced with piano notes will not stop talking. God damn it. <laughs> All of the other patients Kill are them. complaining that his voice is making the hospital even more depressing. The doctors have tried convincing him to stop talking, but to no avail. Kill him. Try to decipher what he's saying or sing with him. Sing with him, you know? That's just sort of how I do my life. Alright. <laughs> you start trying to sing aloud with his voice. You try to sing along with him, but just can't hit the right notes. His sound gets progressively sadder and sadder. He starts driving you slightly mad. <laughs> Lose one mind. Ah. You mad, bro? Alright, I'm gonna go... I'm going back to the slums. Pickpocket. No! <laughs> you spend You're the week trash. performing petty theft. Yeah, finesse. One night, a man walks up to you. Excuse me, sir. Feeling a... Ooh. Wait, did I say a man? Ooh. I'm not sure if it's a man. I'm gonna say I'm it's a man. Sure it's a, I think it said a man. Right. Feeling a little lonely tonight, he asks. For only a small amount of coin. <laughs> he needs a different voice. For only a small amount of coin, I can make you feel good all night. <laughs> sure, well, that's not a small amount of coin. I don't even have that much money. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna say sure, even though I don't have enough money. Up, yeah, Maybe you don't. Uh, what if he beats me up? Sure. You don't have enough money to pay him. <laughs> he shrugs and walks off. Aww. Uh, <laughs> you didn't want to anyways. When it arrived this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild? Move on? Be strong? Or have we forgotten? I mean, I'm just drinking my memories. <laughs> I don't think you so. remember <laughs> yeah. to begin with. Like, what's the yard? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's week six uh, that the Yogg shows up. What week is it? Five. Oh shit, okay, I need to work. You have like two more, you have two more goes. Okay, I wanna go to the forest. Oh wait, it's not my turn. Uh, it's my turn. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Nick? I'm gonna go to the palace again. <laughs> Die. What are you gonna uh, do? I'll, do? I'll do work this time. Do administration work. You spend the week doing paperwork for the palace. You're paid two wealth and gain one mind. One day, the king approaches you. Excuse me, but you look like someone who I can confide in, he says. I don't know if I like where this is going. I really want a prince to take over the throne, but the queen and I aren't exactly active in the bedroom. Oh. Oh. Uh, he blushes a little. <laughs> Do you have any advice on how I could romance the queen, so to speak. Oh, you came to oh, the right person. You, I've think, got 14 charm. You gonna yeah, I'm teach gonna teach him teach your way? my ways, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you spend hours drawing a bunch of diagrams and going through scenarios. <laughs> hours? Yeah. Jeez. He's gonna be like a I've sex I've got a lot of knowledge. <laughs> By the end of it, he's just as charming as you are. Nice. He thanks you and hands you a large sack of coin oh, as dang. a reward. Three wolves! Oh! <laughs> oh shit, nice. Bro, I'm killing this game. <laughs> you really are. Nick's getting all the luck. Brandon, what are you gonna do? Let's go to the forest. Alright. Damn it, Brandon! <laughs> there can be more than one people in the forest. You s no, there can't. Yeah, there can't. Brandon, you suck! It's a small forest. It's a small forest. <laughs> it's, it's like, you spend the week cutting trees. down trees for the village. You gain two physique and earn yourself one wealth. So strong. One, God, you really are 16 physique. You're like the rock. One day during your, one day during your forest ex excursions, you stumble upon a swarm of rats. At first, you jump backwards in shock, but then you start to hear them conversing with one another. Wait, what? They called you over. <laughs> Brent, you're going crazy. Excuse me, <laughs> sir. First, first, some armored oh. ghosts. <laughs> oh wait, no, they have high pitched. It says high pitched voices. Excuse me, sir! <laughs> One of them says in a high-pitched voice, You think you might be able to help us with something? Sure. You see, we're trying to elect <laughs> a new leader, but it seems our votes are completely tied. We're trying to decide between Saint Paul the Vengeful and Bright Tooth the Wise, he says, wise. says the rat. That's what I said. Seed Paw steps forward. If no, I you mean, vote... go with the wise. <laughs> oh, okay. If you vote for me, the rats will have a powerful leader. One who isn't afraid to take our fights to the enemy, proclaims Seedpaw. 
Light Tooth steps up. If you vote for me, good sir, I will lead these rats to an age of enlightenment, says Light Tooth. Which rat do you choose? Yeah, Brandon's, Brandon's I more feel like there. if we go he's... vengeful, he's gonna help us fight the big No, guy. it's a rat! But what if they know. help us fight? Yeah. It's a rat! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Whoever this young is Do what your dad chose, Yeah, Brandon, don't vengeful. let them infect you. Infect, don't infect do it. you. Half Damn of the rats roar yeah. with tiny applause. Yay! Blight Tooth bows his head and walks back <laughs> into the mass of rats. Seedpaw climbs up on your shoulder and whispers fighting tips into your ears. Thanks. <laughs> you gain one finesse oh, and one no. physique. <laughs> cool. Alright, what are you doing? Shelby. <sighs> <laughs> it's a tough choice. But does he come on week six, week six or after week six? After week six. You have one more after this. <laughs> I have one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. <laughs> I'm going to go with the gardens. Which one? Landscape. Landscape. Why not? <laughs> I have nothing else to do with my life. Strikes you down. <laughs> you spend the week main... Your character is not very, like, skilled, Shelby. I anything. know. You should have like you should have stuck to one thing. You spend you the week what? maintaining the plants in the royal gardens. You gain That's one I do finesse, my life, okay? one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. One day, a toothless old woman approaches you. That's my mom. That's rude. I have a small <laughs> pouch of magic beans. I have a small pouch of magic beans. Would you be interested in purchasing them? Wink, yeah, wink. Yeah, sure. Okay. You spend, spend, you spend one wealth on the beans. Later, you decide to plant them in a small, rarely visited part of the garden. Oh, okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright. Don't go to the gardens next week, that's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's me. Uh, I'm gonna pickpocket. <laughs> you spend the week performing petty theft. You gain one oh wealth my and two God. finesse. Oh uh, yeah. While wandering the slums, you notice the stones used to line the road seem to have a certain pattern to them. With a piece of paper and pencil, you try and manage to work out each symbol corresponding to a letter of the alphabet. Deciphering the code points points you to a small trap door hidden in a back alley. You descend uh, it to find a dimly lit room with two cubes hovering off the ground, text scribbled across them. Oh, It's gotta be the Galliant. You touch the cube labeled the Galliant. Everything flashes white. <laughs> you wake up at home feeling a little odd. You gain three charm. Oh, sweet. What was that? I don't know, that was really weird. <laughs> the Yauk is almost here. Almost. The narrator just changed its voices, that was interesting. Almost. <laughs> no, no, that's the same narrator. He's just had too He's many. He's got a cold. He's got a, He's got a cold. cold this week, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go. You know, I've I've done my fair share of drinking, so I'm going to work at the tavern now. You're gonna bartend. <laughs> yep. It's like you're working your way up. First you drink, then you bartend. Yep. Alright. You spend the week Damn. serving drinks at the tavern. You earn one wealth uh, in tips and gain two charm. One day, a fortune teller sets up at one of the tavern's tables. She offers to reach anyone's fortune for a small thumb. Thumb. Yeah, thumb. Thumb. <laughs> thumb. Small thumb. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Okay. You spend one wealth. The fortune teller takes your hand and begins showering you with a promise of love and wealth. Lies. She doesn't really go into any detail, and the whole time you can't help but feel that this is an all this is all an act. Underwhelmed and slightly poorer, you can't help but feel like you've wasted your money. That night, while walking home, the fortune teller runs up to you and gives you a kiss on the cheek. There's the love part, says the toothless smile. She hands you a giant sack of gold. Oh. There's the wealth. Hey! <laughs> so, still think I'm a hack? Dot dot dot. Yeah, that was really so. dumb. Yeah. <laughs> a fortune teller that pays you. Yeah, man. Like, she came up with the fortune as well. She could have said, like, someone will punch you in the face and then punch <laughs> you in the face. Well, maybe that's, like, maybe I got lucky on that one. <laughs> maybe. Yes, yeah, so. Alright. Well, like, well, you, you know where I've been to. The forest. Alright. Chop some wood. 
Yeah, he's Brandon, your physique is gonna be ridiculous. You spend the week cutting down trees for the village. Two physique and under and earn yourself one wealth. One day you stumble upon a dryad picking flowers in a field. Upon noticing you, she runs up to you excitedly. Excuse me, sir, would you care to dance? she asks. I've been waiting, wanting to dance for so long, but nobody else has been around to dance with, she sighs. Please turn into a demon. Uh, I'd love to dance. <laughs> <laughs> she giggles and takes you by the hand. You start humming out a song, and the two of you dance together in the middle of the forest. I like how you've been like cutting down trees, though. I'm like, this picture is yeah. not really like. <laughs> I mean, you don't. You shouldn't be friend to this dryad. The two of you have perfect chemistry. All of your movements are perfectly in sync. You dance with her into the night. Afterwards, she thanks you for the lovely evening. Everyone's getting kiss kissed this round. <laughs> you feel the energy radiating through your body. You gain three charm. <laughs> Holy shit. Whoa. I call the gardens. The gardens? Yeah. Alright, which one? Landscape. You spend the week maintaining plants in the loyal. in the. Uh, in the royal garden. <laughs> You gain one finesse, <coughs> one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. One day, while in the gardens, you notice a beanstalk. That was mine. Eat it eat or it. water it. <laughs> well, it's the last week, so eat it. Eat it? Oh, no, no, water it, water it, water it, water it, water it, water it. Uh, if plants could express emotion, it'd mm -hmm. let you know how delighted it was to be watered. <laughs> Some giant comes down from there and like kills the og. Yeah, no, the a giant's gonna come down and it is the og. What that'd for real? Be, no, that'd be funny though. That would be pretty funny. Probably not. Thank you you right caused now. this. <laughs> and I have no skills. <laughs> well, let me look at my stats. I have six physique, fourteen finesse. So I've mostly got finesse and charm. I'm gonna pickpocket. <laughs> you spend the week performing petty theft. One person. You gain one wealth and two <laughs> finesse. You're possibly your last week thieving from people. Yeah. Thieving <laughs> on, like, one day a swarm of rats yeah. flood the street. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. Brandon, what have you Karma. done? <laughs> Karma comes back. People flee in a mad panic. What do you do? Run like mad, blast them with them with I'm running like mad. You join the crowd of people fleeing the scene. You manage to escape, but there's still rats all over the slums. Brandon, you have managed to destroy two areas. Yeah, Brandon, you ruined the slums. It was and the arena. A storm arrived. And the arena night. was all you, Shelby. Yeah, that was actually you, Shelby. That no, it wasn't. Don't Brandon lie. Brandon tried his best. <laughs> it, was a, it was a teamwork kind of thing. I tried to see. <laughs> Alright, here we go, guys. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest put us through a grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we past saving? Shit. So the town is completely destroyed. So, um, Nick, you choose first. You. To rebuild the town, you need a role uh, in the town, and so you want to pick a role that you think um, complements your <laughs> skills and experience. I just saw the bottom. <laughs> the <one>. drug. <laughs> <laughs> no, Some of I'm them be, don't actually I help. Leader. I will say, like I think yeah. looter and town drunk will actually hurt the recovery effort, and depending yeah, on how I'm well cool. we do at this, depends on like how happy or sad our ending is. And the sad ending is so freaking depressing. It's so really? bad. We got it last time. We get it. I get it but every I've, time. I've only I've gotten got a happy some, ending once. I've got some wealth and charm. I'm gonna go for leader. Oh, that's actually a good idea. I was gonna go for leader, but you know, yeah. I feel like I would make a you're terrible leader. Ooh. Yeah, you're a freaking thief. Yeah. Actually, well, maybe. I'm Depending gonna go for leader. When government. <laughs> okay, so leader. <laughs> you take it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. You expertly delegate and prioritize tasks. You give motivating speeches and act as an effective mediator in disputes. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. Alright, Brandon, what are you? Well, okay, I got 19 physique, so I'm gonna go for a builder. That makes sense. Yeah. Alright, Brandon's gonna be the builder. You take it upon yourself to help rebuild the town by hand. 
You rebuild homes <laughs> at oh. breakneck speeds, impressing the rest of the survivors. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. So you two are gonna do really good, and me and Shelby are gonna like <laughs> destroy this town. <laughs> um, I'll be the doctor. Oh God! <laughs> Look, I have nothing Hold to on. eat. At one point, you went mad by someone who was just saying stuff, and then you also you birthed a demon baby. <laughs> okay, yeah, that is true. <laughs> Well, I don't know. What is a conjurer? Uh, I have full magic. That'd yeah. be that. Yeah, what is, what is a best, conjurer? Your best skill is mind. So I maybe the doctor. doctor. Yeah, that would be yeah. Wait, Ethan, what's your mind? I just want to make sure that you wouldn't be a better doctor. Or not. Oh, I, sorry, I already clicked. Uh, you take it upon yourself to help the sick and injured from the yog. <laughs> You're able to keep most patients in stable condition. Some are even able to get up uh, back to work in no time. This helps the survivor effort quite a bit. So you did actually help a little bit. Nice. Alright, now I'm going to screw us over. Uh, I'm gonna be the looter. <laughs> no. It's all no, I'm no, good no, at. No, 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 no. What about the tailor? No, guys, it's gonna be really bad if I pick anything else. Wait, what does okay. finesse and do? No freaking way am I gonna be a tailor. What does finesse do? Does it help with tailoring? I have no idea if it would help with tailoring. You could be like, yeah, it could probably help with tailoring. Yeah, so? finesse is just being good at anything. Could I be a tailor? <laughs> do it, be a tailor, try it. <laughs> but I wanna be a looter. Try it. Tailor, just try it. tailor, tailor. Uh, I really just want to loot the town. <laughs> Ethan, that'd be so bad. Just be the tailor. Listen, I resisted the urge to be the town drunk, Ethan. Alright, fair enough. I'll be tailor. You volunteer to weave in men clothing <laughs> for survivors to keep warm. You make men clothing faster than anyone would have ever expected. Every survivor now has an excess number right. of scarves, socks, and hats to keep warm. This helps the effort that, immensely. Ethan. Wow. Oh shit, here we go. And so... We set about our no tasks, time. once more living our lives, this time in a way we might have never expected, or even wanted. <laughs> but in the end, here we go. We flourished! Yeah. Towers were wrecked Woo! and ravaged, rose towards the sky, trees again took root and blossomed. We all blossomed, and through it took, and though it took a long while, and no, it took a lot of work from us. Our future is bright. Should the Yogg ever return, we will be ready. And so now you can see like your how your people like um, how they live their lives after the Yogg. Let's see. Uh, okay, here's Nick. With the town rebuilt, you don. Uh, your costume and once more you don't eager your costume. <laughs> oh, you don your costume once don't. more eager to fight crime. <laughs> don't whatever. <laughs> so you become a crime fighter apparently. Nice. In an odd twist of events, the Yogg appears to have brought everyone closer together. You can't seem to find a trace of criminal activity in the town. You travel to new lands in search of crime that must be punished. <laughs> so you become like I'm Arrow. Like, inter I'm like an international <laughs> crime fighter. Here's Brandon. After the town is rebuilt, you decide to move out into the woods. <laughs> you become the friendly local lumberjack and fashion yourself a log cabin. You, sp you spend most of your days chopping down giant trees, then carrying the logs to the town gate. You make friends with the dryads of the forest and spend every weekend Dude. at their wild river parties. Oh, shit, this is actually yeah. really good. All in all, you lead a good life. I love that, that's nice. Oh, such a happy ending. Mine's gonna be like, you dead. With the town fully rebuilt, you spend more and more time in the alchemy tower. Your potion brewing abilities quickly become among the best in the world. Hey. Your health and mana potions are considered world-class delicacies. Take with that, With people venturing her. far and wide to buy them. Whatever. Yeah, right? But you never learn to brew a love potion. I don't care, I don't need a man in my life. Oh. I do what I want. Oh, look, there's me. Just slow me down. With the town rebuilt, you take it off to the forest and pursue your true calling. You and your gang of merry fellows ambush noble travelers oh. in the woods, <laughs> demanding money for the poor. Oh, but it's for the poor. Oh, but you're like, oh. okay. The group becomes local heroes for those living in the slums. See? Your legend is sung in taverns all across the land. Shit. Mine was the best. That was actually really good. I wasn't expecting a happy ending. Like, it's almost never happy. Um, wow. Yeah, look at that. 
That was the Yogg, everybody. Uh, we're gonna do another one of these with everybody else as well. Uh, we still haven't gotten Sydney or Jacob, and we might have some repeats, but you know, it'll be fine. Um, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And if you have any recommendations for games we should play, let us know in the comments. Uh, yeah, cool. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, as usual, I've been Ethan. This has been Tubsco. Signing off. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.